wrong with me? The hall that we were just in is reserved for special guests. Only those who are close to Potiphar and Zaleika. To reach that room, one must pass through all seven doors that we are passing through. These seven doors have very strong locks. If they're closed, nobody can enter nor leave the rooms. Only Lady Zaleika has the key to these doors. And here's the beautiful scenic view of our palace. You can see the great Nile in Egypt from here. And over there in the west, you can see the world of the dead. Come with me. This is Lady Zaleika's private room. The lady is a very proud aristocrat. My advice is to be careful and never disobey her. Let's go. This is the working study and the retreat of Excellency Patifar. He is the second most powerful man in Egypt. And you must learn to bow in front of him and other dignitaries, and to respect them. He is Sufa, the private librarian of Excellency Patifar. Come along. This is where Excellency Potiphar and Lady Zaleika take their meals. I must rescue Joseph. There must be a way. I think Joseph is very well where he is. He is a slave now. He didn't appear to be a slave in that glorious palace. Even if the bird cage is beautiful, the bird is still caged. I will not leave Egypt unless I can take Joseph to Prophet Jacob. But you saw. Potiphar and his wife love Joseph. Not as much as Prophet Jacob does. I am certain he is burning in the fire of Joseph's separation. Malik, Joseph says he's in Egypt by God's will. It was my last trading journey. Sell the goods quickly and return to Babylon. Here are the slaves' and servants' quarters. <laughs> Ex 
Excellency Honeyfar's here. They all work in Potiphar's palace. Some inside the palace, and others work in either the linen or the papyrus farms. Some of the men and women are working right now. In each chamber, one family lives. Why are they so poor? Why doesn't Excellency Potiphar pay attention to them? The workers who work on the Thebes farms are in far worse condition. We give these people regular meals and a place to live, and we look after them and their children. Will I be allowed to come and visit them? Why not? But you had better ask permission from Excellency Potiphar and Lady Zuleika. These are the slaves that carry palanquins. are made for the palace. Greetings to Excellency Honifer. Papyrus is used for writing. We used animal hides for writing. This is much better than animal's hide. You know how to write. The one who created me taught me writing as well. This is good. A slave who knows how to write is very valuable to his master. And you said, who taught you? My tutor and owner. He knows all tongues. All right, let's go. Linen is woven here. Linen is the cloth we wrap around our waists and make clothes out of. The thinnest linen woven here is called royal linen. This workshop weaves linen only for the palace residents. Lady Zuleika is an Egyptian aristocrat and the most exquisite fabrics are woven here for her to wear, you see? Let's go. Here's the pottery workshop. Greetings, Excellency Hanifer. Some of the water pipes are broken because of the chariots passing over them. Change them, will you? The size, Your Excellency? Yes, I think that size. I'll make and replace them immediately. All right. Here is the food store. All the ingredients needed by the bakery and the kitchen are kept in here. What are you staring at? Look what you're doing! And don't forget, as of now, do not answer unless they call you or ask you something. 
Zuleika is an arrogant woman. And sometimes she becomes strict and cruel like other courtiers. This is the palace kitchen. Various dishes are made for various people in here. Slaves and servants have different dishes. The officials and the chamberlain have different dishes. And the special dishes for Excellency Potiphar and Lady Zoleka are cooked separately. Why various dishes? Is it not possible for everyone to eat the same dish? <laughs> Of course, that is not possible. Excellency Potiphar and Lady Zuleika are not the same as servants. This is Yuzasif. As of today, he will help you to distribute the food. He is a literate child and can check the number of helpings for each section of the palace on a scroll of papyrus, which we will give him. See how eagerly they are looking at you. They have gathered here for you. What are you looking at? Back to your work, everyone. Carry on. Let's go. This is the palace temple. Potiphar and Lady Zoleika and other palace residents come here to pray. We keep our gods inside here. Excellency, your gods need a place to be kept? Of course they do. They mustn't be exposed to wind, rain, and sunlight. Greetings to Excellency Hanifer. You usually inspect the palace in the mornings. What is it? Why now? I have brought Yuzasif to see the palace. I want him to be familiar with the palace and its residents. What's the matter? Some of the palace jewels have been stolen. And they are the inside guards. Neither confesses, and each accuses the other. All right. I will deal with this. Both of these men are to be hanged as a lesson to the palace guards and residents. Make sure it is done if they do not confess. I didn't but steal I didn't. anything. I didn't I steal anything. I the gods. I, I didn't promise steal I didn't I can't anything. understand you while you're both babbling at once. Excellency Hanifer, I swear to the gods I'm innocent. Nobody has seen me steal anything. I wasn't on duty on the day the theft happened. I don't know why they've brought me here. We are sure to find the culprit in the end. You had better confess now, and therefore finish it. He says you went to his post when he wasn't paying attention. Me? At his post? That's not true. He's lying. I made a mistake. I had to, you know, how can I put it? I dozed off for a moment. There was nobody in the palace to see me except him. A guard must think of everything before taking his post. 
You shouldn't have fallen asleep. You are guilty. You deserted your post. And you don't have a witness. But I'm not a thief, sir. Please have mercy. I am sorry. Free Ninifakepta and take this man to prison. Excellency, I'm not a thief. By the gods, I didn't steal anything. Have mercy. May the gods curse you, Ninifer. May the gods' wrath befall you for lying. Quiet! Why don't you tell the truth? Excellency, I'm not a thief. I can reveal the thief. No, son. You can't. I assure you, I can. Do you not want to find the culprit? Yes. How do you propose to find the thief? I learned from my father. He was good at judging people. Are you sure? I am, Excellency. You can test me now. All right. I know who the thief is. Better you confess and don't aggravate your crime further. I wasn't even on duty the day the jewelry was stolen. I'm innocent. I didn't steal. I don't have any witnesses, but I saw Ninifer coming out of the jewelry room. I know who is innocent. You can be sure of that. I also know that everybody else will soon know him too. I ask Excellency Hanifer to immediately behead the culprit when I have revealed him. I just want to know who the culprit is. Rodaman is their commander. I will not spare him. Just point him out to me. Excellency Rodaman, they must kneel by this flower bed. and have them blindfolded. Bring the cloth. I give the thief one more chance. If he confesses, he will be forgiven. If he does not confess, he will be beheaded immediately. He is the thief. Draw your sword. That one is the thief. Behead him. No! No! I confess! I am the thief! I made a mistake! Please forgive me, Excellency Radaman! Don't behead me! Forgive me! Forgive me, please! <laughs> I bet you never thought you would confess so soon. <laughs> well done! Well done! Take him away. <laughs> well done, my son. Well done. I have to say, I didn't think you could do it. Thank you. Get up. Thank you, user Sif. If not for you, I'd have been wrongly punished. May the gods protect you. If I hadn't wanted to prove your innocence, 
I would not have humiliated Ninifer. He is not completely innocent. If you leave your post one more time, you will be punished severely. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, son. Let's go. Come with me. How clever and smart. Did you see how he caught him? He is both beautiful and smart. Yes. I still can't believe it. How could a child do that? He thought he was going to be beheaded there and then. So he got up and confessed to his guilt. He was saying, no, no, don't behead me. I am the thief. I am guilty. I confess to everything. Yusasif's trick left everyone in astonishment. Nobody ever thought a child so young could be so clever. I must be thankful to Potiphar for giving me such a valuable gift. Yusasif is literate as well. As of today, no one will get away with having extra food. Yusasif will give each person and each section's portion by a list. A slave's literacy is very valuable to his master. Where have you chosen for Yusasif to rest? I have not decided yet. It's no decision. He should stay with the other slaves. No. Not among the slaves. He must stay here in the palace, the room I showed him last night. Yusasif, do you like your room? I thank you, but if you'll allow, I'd like to stay close to the servants and the slave quarters. I decide where and with whom you must live, Yusasif. Do you understand? The presence of a slave in the palace is against the rules. It will cause disharmony amongst the other slaves. If the lord of this house, Excellency Potiphar, and I like this child, others may keep their opinion to themselves. Yusasif, my son, I have no children. Please consider me your father. Tell me of any problem you might have. Thank you. Thank you. 
What did you do to your brother? Why don't you answer, Levi? It was the wolf. You're lying. I spoke to the wolf, and it denied it. It knew nothing of Joseph. The wolf? How does a wolf deny anything, Father? I heard it. It told Father it hadn't killed Joseph. Tell me what you've done to your brother before it's too late, while there's still time. The truth is what we told you. The wolf killed him. Don't accuse the wolves. Whatever it was, it was done by you wolves. Repent and tell the truth. God does not grant everybody the chance to repent, especially those whose hearts are made of stone. Goodbye, Malak. I hope we meet again. Farewell. Go and bring Yuzasif here. During the years living with you, I realized that we would never have a child. I didn't want to deprive you of becoming a mother. Firstly, we've only been married a few years. Who knows whether we will have a baby in the future? Besides, my love for my Lord Excellency Potiphar is not reliant upon children. My lady, I do not doubt your love for me. I presented Yusasif to you for the same love. I knew that having such a child around would make you very happy. Nothing makes me happier than your love, my dear. I like you, Zosif, because he was your present. If one day we have a child of our own, do you think he will be as beautiful as you, Zosif? Perhaps. But he will certainly not be as clever and smart as him. What have you done that Lady Zuleika speaks so highly of you? A trick you saw see fused today. To find the thief of the jewelry has amazed everybody. Your Excellency, all over the palace, 
Everyone is talking of User Seif's cleverness. Everyone says he sent Ninifar kept out of prison. You have proved to us on the very first day you are worthy of being Lady Zaleika's stepson. I heard it. They want to adopt User Seif. Zaleika? Did she agree to take him as her stepson? She didn't say anything. But she seemed to agree. This rumor spreading everywhere. I'm sure I can guess. It is surely about you, Sarsif. Is it true that you're going to adopt you, Sarsif? He's a good choice, isn't he? It's against the tribal traditions and Egyptian customs. You, Sarsif, is a foreigner from a low race and does not suit an aristocrat like you. But when he becomes my child, he will have title, position, and rank. What would you do with his beliefs? How do you know he is not an enemy of Amman and against the Egyptian beliefs? <laughs> you say strange things. Soft and supple saplings. They change form very easily. Please don't do it, my lady. It is not to your advantage. My mind is made up. Instead of saying disappointing words, you will help me. Allow me to say a final word. I went to the sorcerer in Amman Temple today and gave him the description of you, Sarsif. Do you know what he said? He said, the child is Zaleika's enemy. He will destroy Zaleika's life and make her hate the gods. The sorcerer said you would end up worshipping other gods. What is this gibberish you're on about? He's only a child. I can train him and change him in any way that I see fit or may want. As of tomorrow, dress him properly and bring him to me. I will begin to teach him the traditions of the Egyptian people. And you will help me to do it. I am worried only for you. And I will accept your decision. But don't say I didn't warn you. I'm here to take Excellency Potiphar's meal. There will be no food until Yuzarsif comes. He is in charge of the number of helpings. He's found himself a good place. Potiphar and Zaleika want to adopt him. Stand back. Yuzarsif has a list of all the people in the palace. You will only give food to people or sections as he says. There are 20 guards.
Twenty. The number of priests in the temple is five. Why twenty? The temple gods don't want food. Do the temple gods eat as well? No, they don't. But mustn't we present the servant food to the gods so they bless it? Who will eat the food after it has been blessed? What the gods have blessed belongs to the priests and the servants of God's temple. So the priests eat four times as much as everyone else. That's why the priests become fat. <laughs> the priests and their relatives get fatter every day because of the gods, <laughs> whilst most of the palace servants don't have even enough for themselves. Right. <laughs> What'll happen if the gods do not bless the food of a servant? <laughs> Perhaps we will all get a stomachache. <laughs> all of you, stop it. If you're not respectful of the temple servants, at least be respectful of the temple gods. That witch will conspire against you, Zarsif. The number of temple servants written here is five. We mustn't give more helpings than that. That's not your concern. We have always taken twenty, and we always will. Give them what they want today, until Excellency Hanafar can solve this problem. In the name of the gods in the belly of priests. <laughs> no one had ever objected to their greed before. Bravo, sir. Bravo. He found the truth about Nenefer Kepter, and now he's disgraced the priests. Did you see how this child sent Nenefer Kepter to jail? He is a brave and clever kid. Excellency Hanifa. How's it going, Yuzarsif? No problems, I hope? No, Your Excellency. Yuzarsif argued with the temple priests. He wanted to stop them taking extra food. Karimama witnessed it all. I guess Karimama and the priests conspire against this child. <laughs> 